everybody's happy, everybody's living in red, especially in Ottawa where the Liberals and the NDP have joined force and Trudeau is going to be around till 2025. I told a friend tonight, I said, she was all happy. Uh, somebody in Europe, some parliament, this woman, condemned Trudeau. Say human rights, condemn Trudeau, Trudeau against his policies against human rights. Which, my opinion, pure, pure bullshit. Anyway, uh, because what happened in Ottawa. Okay, so, I told the person, I said, don't get yourself all upset about Trudeau because he's going to be around till 2025. There's no question about it, just relax. And I said, furthermore, you see, this is what's going to happen. Trudeau, if he reoffers, uh, going to call an election. The PC will have a new leader. And uh, what's going to happen? <coughs> All these people wait, get the kids out of the room, put the, put the tape on pause. Right, DOG? And there. Big flags. Fuck Trudeau. Big flags. Hey kids, let us learn you how to give the finger to Trudeau. And all the anger and the hate is going to come out again. And Canadians are going to do like the last election and say, we're not going to tolerate that. And voila, Trudeau won again. Of course, uh, he had, uh, with the ND, uh, the PC did pretty good. Who was at the popular vote again? I know that Trudeau didn't win the popular vote, but he won. So, relax. People should just get rid of their anger. Do it in the old-fashioned way. You don't like a government like we did to Moroni. Of course, Kim Campbell was, was the prime minister. Uh, we told Moroni, we didn't like you. So they got rid of all the PC MPs and the only thing that was left were Jean Charest and Elsie Wayne. That was it. That was the way to do stuff. But of course, get rid of the blue and here comes the red. Get rid of the red, here comes the blue. Maybe one day, without hatred, that people will vote for a party that's not just red and blue. Come on, Yogi.